The fast track system at the Leicester Royal Infirmary really is a stroke of genius. It's manufactured by Siemens and is essentially a huge oval track on which blood samples are manoeuvred around. They're placed in little things called pucks, which are just, just little capsules that um, float them around on the system. And their whole fate is directed by which barcode the biomedical scientist has placed on the sample. So the sample might go off for coagulation, or it might go off for cell counts, or it might go off for biochemistry. So as this diagram shows, dotted around the track are various ports of call for samples. Essentially on the right hand side we have haematology, so the blood cell count using fax scans, um, coagulation tests and samples will come off for blood smears. And on the left hand side you have your blood biochemistry measuring everything from lipids to various liver enzymes to glucose and probably 20 or 30 other compounds and electrolytes. Also on the left hand side is the computer station that drives the entire track and also at the back of the laboratory is a massive cold room store. So samples will come in, they, they'll have been sorted and barcoded. Urgent samples will be manually analysed so the basic blood samples will go onto the system and by the end of the day usually around about a 12 hour period they're then unloaded and they're placed in the cold room for storage in case there's something that needs to be reanalyzed but bearing in mind the samples will deteriorate. What we have here is one of the largest tracking system in the Midlands. Um, I think it's one of the second largest tracking system in the UK. Okay. It's provided by a company called Siemens which also do the analyzers as well for us okay and the whole laboratory is known as fast track laboratory the idea is to try and process work very very quickly and efficiently so what you see there is almost like a train track and where as we spoke earlier regarding the barcodes on the samples if they're correctly labeled each bits of the track can sense what the barcode is right, by looking at the, the digits, specific digits and they will know what machine or what analyzer the sample needs to go to. Okay? The one that you see immediately which is like a, a spinning away is called a decapper. Okay? Um, and what that does is takes the caps off all biochemistry samples, the brown ones. Okay? And that's why you see some samples have got no caps on. Later on, for health and safety, each sample will be capped on again. Okay. In front of you, what you've got is also a loading area where you load the machine, uh, machines or, or you load the samples onto it and they eventually get fed onto the track and then analyzed via the sample, uh, sample um, uh, machines which will analyze all the samples and eventually come back to the loaders and get filed away. What's that called again? This is a puck. Puck. So uh, the puck, the track has 250 pucks on it. Each one looks the same as that. Um, but these are basically stupid. There's nothing clever about the puck at all. On, on other sorts of tracks from different manufacturers, you might have a radio frequency chip that's in the bottom of it so that it knows exactly where that uh, puck is on the track at any one time. But this one is basically what you see. It's just metal and plastic. So the clever bit in this is the reading of the barcodes. So that's why at different points on the track, we've got a barcode reader that will scan the barcode on the other sort of track you don't need to be so worried because you know which tube has gone into which sample at the point where it was placed on the track so when the tracks running with 250 hooks on it it will we only allow it to fill 200 of those hooks because uh, tubes are constantly going on and off the track so it's important that there's a space for a tube to come onto the track from a machine when it's been analysed. So we, we make sure that 50 of the hooks are left empty so that those tracks can be uh, loaded back onto the track when they've been analysed at the machine.